Hey guys, sorry here. Uh, part seven of eight of the uh, of the brick, brick and block garage build. You know, just finished off the block uh, block work. Got uh, four different clips of this and for today's brick lane vlog. Um, from last video, I said I was going to talk about the stresses of day work and the uh, contrast between price work and day work. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about you know give some views. Um, it's not going to be the whole video, but you know, part way, part of the video, we're going to talk now about whether day work is more stressful than price work, and um, which uh, everyone prefers, if anyone can leave some comments. I've always worked on price ever since I came out of my time, uh, but uh, we do have opportunities to do day work for different, different uh, types of work, whether that's, uh, you know, doing patching, you know, finishing off, uh, you know, plots that other gangs have done and, uh, you know, opportunities to alter work that was incorrect. And, you know, it's I take on these jobs a lot of the time. I'm not fussed whether I'm doing day work or price a lot of the time, but I do make a hell of a lot more money on price. Uh, you know, that depends on the type of work, obviously, but as I've got faster over the last... As I've been more... Should I say, as I've been more efficient over the last couple of years, I've always been... Uh, quite fast ever since I came out of my time, but um, I've become a hell of a lot faster in the last couple of years by being more efficient with my time uh, instead of relying on purely rushing around or trying to be have fast tra travel speed or hand speed. I've actually probably slowed down in a lot of those respects, but I just make a lot more efficient use of my time now and get a hell of a lot more done because of it. Um, but uh, when it comes to when it comes to day works uh, compared to price, I personally find it a little bit more stressful uh, having to complete a job in you know in, in a certain time frame. Uh, you know, a lot of the time you'll go onto a site and they'll say, "Oh, will you do this?" and we get it done by fucking in two days. And you'll be on day work doing it and the job might take two and a half days but you know a lot of time you, you, they're trying to force you to get something done in you know a lot, of, a lot of the time to save them paying you obviously an extra day and uh the, whether you know whether you, you know whether your day work obviously your day work uh, rate will be a lot lower than sort of what you're earning on price so i find a lot of the time the stress the stress and hassle payoff for doing day work isn't always worth you know when you could when you could just work on price and a lot of the time uh you'll cover your day work easily your day work rate and you'll make more and in your own time frame without having the pressure of trying to complete a particular job or a particular uh, task in a certain time frame or getting enough done or you know because a lot of the time you get put on day work because it isn't uh price work uh suited and it is either finishing off alterating you know remedial sort of work and it isn't always you know the most straightforward work it is mo most of the time a ball ache it's a ball acre it's hard uh it's not pleasant to do all the time that's why you you get a set you get a set wage for the day you know your money's in effectively uh you know i found for you know years in years doing day works doing you know doing day work days or day work weeks you know i found it stressful I found it harder than being on price a lot of the time and I earned fucking you know in winter in win I'd say in winter if you're gonna be doing day works in winter you know you're on to a winner because a lot of the time in winter you're gonna get rained off lose time and you're probably your day work you know is about gonna be the same as your price average but when it comes to summer uh, definitely you know you're gonna make a lot more money because you're gonna be uh, you know you're gonna you, the days are clearer you're getting uh you know more long runs of work obviously with the weather being good ground workers don't get held up a lot of people forget you know when you get rained off as a bricklayer a lot of the time the ground works comes to a halt as well and not always but a lot of the time especially with you know concrete and slabs and stuff when it's pissing it down they won't order concrete and stuff so stuff gets set back but you know i definitely recommend if you're in winter uh, especially if it's frosty and you get the opportunity to do inside work taking day work is not a bad idea at all it's better than having a week off and uh, and sometimes if you you know if you're carrying an injury like I've carried an injury before 
uh, you know, day work's ideal for, for trying to recover and rest. You know, you, 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 te- you, you know, normally working at a slower pace. I have found myself getting carried away sometimes on day work and work as if I'm on price, but you know, that's few and far between. Uh, that's what firms help. That's what firms help you do if you get put on a day work task. Uh, they help you go at it the same speed as you do price work. So you, uh, you know, get the job done quicker. So they, you know, it costs them less. Uh, but you know, overall, I find it I find it more stressful, uh, you know, day in day out doing pre- doing price work because uh, doing uh, day work because you don't have that freedom to do as much as you want or to fucking stop and start when you want. You know what I mean? It's sort of oh, you're here for the day. You know, if you, they want you to work the full fucking day, and you know, sometimes, sometimes a lot of t- you know, especially if you're on good runs. Sometimes if I'm if I've carrying an injury or I'm tired from the night before with the uh, with the youngster being up you know a lot, you know especially in winter a lot of times one o'clock two o'clock just knock it on the head if I've had a good run for a few days and it's the weather's looking rough and there's a little bit of drizzle in the air and you're just feeling a bit under the weather you just knock it on its head but if you're on day work you've got to keep plodding on for another few hours and you know it's not always pleasant but you know it uh it, if you can get with a good firm, we'll pay you to do remedials and, you know, pay you a good solid day work rate, you know, uh, somewhat close to your average, you know, you'll not ever, ever find any, any uh, you'll not find a lot of the time anyone will give you your dead average, you know what I mean, you're absolute fucking what you are doing regularly on price, but if you can get somewhere close, you know, you're onto a winner and uh, I'm, in, I'm in somewhat of that situation at the moment, uh, you know, pay me what I'm booking with my hours and you know, we to to be honest, you know, we we get plenty done on the days one day work, and you know, uh, we're we're a relatively cheap overall gang. Being the being a you know a lot one on ones now, it's becoming a rare and rare thing to see one on ones uh, because of you know the speed that they want in houses and stuff up. But because we are a one on one, you know, it's a more ideal uh, cheaper gang than say two bricklayers. A bricklayer and a labourer is automatically cheaper than two bricklayers. A lot of the time and uh it, you know it is you know we do we have dropped on with some uh, good runs a day work when the weather's been bad so it's not always something to uh, moan about but you do have that mental a bit more of a mental aspect to it where you you know you're always a bit anxious thinking oh am i getting enough done or oh god you know so and so wants it doing by tomorrow etc etc uh but you know it's one of the things a lot of time uh, especially as I've got older and I don't really worry about things like that. I just sort of just just work as normal. Uh, but when it comes to price work, um, especially when it's bad weather, it can be equally as stressful. I'm trying to get a wage in when the weather's bad or the fucking the bricks are soaking wet. We've I've had that for for uh, for years. I've piss wet bricks. Uh, you know, working all day, not being able to join up for like two days straight. I've had that. Uh, you know that's equally as stressful. You know what I mean. So you know there's there's pros and cons to to each, uh, but especially when the weather's good and you're on price, you know more often than not, you know you're gonna make a good you're gonna get make a good wage. But the uh, the the general trend is uh, if you have to do day work, if you're if you haven't got the opportunity to do price, day work is definitely better in winter. Especially if you've got uh, the opportunity to inside work or work that isn't weather affected, uh, definitely um, day work in winter, price work in summer for definite. So uh, that's my take on it. You've just got to adapt to the time scale. Um, if you are asked to do day works and you are, don't actually have a problem with doing them, you know the main thing main thing to do is not to complain. Be easy going, and uh, if you're happy doing it, you know you'll get more of it. You know what I mean? If you do a good job or you get plenty done, uh, you, you know you'll get more. Uh, you get more, more of it, and you know I get my fair share of day works, and it has, uh, you know, it has uh, helped me, you know, boost my earnings over the over the years with uh, with one thing or another because there's always downtime in you know in building whether there's waiting for scaffolds or you know slabs haven't been poured on correct or there's been a delay with materials especially with this covid going on uh, we're coming to the tail end of it now but it's you know there's always uh, there's always pros today work which you know a lot of times a lot of brick lane game, a lot of brick lane youtube channels don't talk about you know what i mean there's there's ways to manage how you get your day work as well to where you know you're uh, you're getting maybe a couple of days on day work and then smashing a lot of 
or the bricks in on price, you know, because, you know, I've done I've done that myself, you know, I've had a good solid few days on uh, on price. I might have smashed a couple of, I think I smashed about 2,000 bricks in in space of, uh, in space of three days, I think two thousand, two and a half, two and a half thousand bricks in three days, and then uh, I, I I were on day work for two days, and, and it worked out well because I was doing a, a bit of patching, and I absolutely fucking knackered, and I was like plodding around doing the pointing pinholes and shit like that, and you know sometimes you know it's a welcome break, you know altering damp trays and fucking replacing bricks and stuff, you know when you're absolutely bollocks from smashing bricks in. But you know it takes you know managing the time you do it, which is uh, which is the most beneficial. Uh, the firm I'm working for at the moment, you know, to be honest, when they ask me to do some day works, I can basically choose when I want to do them within reason. Uh, if I'm finish, if I'm doing it on some price work and I'm finishing off a, a garage or a job, they'll normally let me finish anything off I'm doing first on price, and then go and do the day works. It's uh, you know, it, it, it does help, and, and it's how you. And it goes back to the people skills video, and, the, and 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 how you deal with people, which helps massively. And building a reputation up for being, you know, easygoing or you know, good to work with, uh, and being able to work with multiple types of people. You know, even being able to work with the beast of, beast assholes. Uh, if you run into like you know an awkward, an awkward manager, an awkward you know site agent or whatever, uh, being able to be versatile like that is just. Another feather in your cap to being able to be more, uh, to be, being able to get more, uh, better and better work, you know, as a self-employed bricklayer. And uh, so yeah, so thanks a lot for guys for watching. Um, uh, thanks a lot for subscribing, guys. We're coming. We're, I think we've hit 500 by the time you you guys are seeing this video. We're near 500 subs. So thanks so much uh, in advance. I, I'm over the moon, really. With the support I'm getting, you know, you know, you always get, I get a few comments. I've had to block uh, a couple of people for being a bit, you know, leaving uh, not con non constructive feedback or being just flat out horrible. Uh, you know, I'll block anyone who's just basically leaving horrible comments on every video. You know, there's no need for it. Uh, not in this day and age, anyway. You know, what I mean, not in this, uh, you know, line of videos. You know, I, I presume everyone watching, we're all, we're all. Uh, you know we're all adults men and women whether you're bricklayers or not you know we're all fucking mature people uh you know there's no space for assholes in my uh in in this space that i've created making videos so uh anyway thank you uh thanks very much for watching coming to the end of the clip and there'll be one more uh uh block lane video uh finishing off this uh this run of blocks next video so i'll have some more tips then thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one